Today we're going to replace a um, laptop screen for a Dell Latitude 12.5 inch E7270. This screen was uh, compressed and cracked. To do this job is a pretty simple procedure. You just need a few simple tools. We have to remove the bezel first, remove the screen, replace the screen, and put the bezel back on. It's going to be a very simple repair. I like to use uh, some plastic tools to pull the bezel off, like a guitar pick, to get the gap started, and a little firmer tool, and we need a small Phillips head screwdriver for the screen screws. First we'll turn off the computer. So the first step, get the uh, bezel started. It's usually the hardest part of the whole job. Kind of slip that guitar pick in that groove. And I oftentimes will take the bigger tool to the point you can start to pull it off with your fingers. Just be gentle with it. These tabs can break. You pull too hard too quickly. So just pull it very gently, supply pressure, and then will unsnap rather easily. Different uh, screens will have different attaching points. In this case, we've got four small Phillips screws in the corner. So just take your Phillips head. And remove the four screws. <coughs> Free up the laptop screen. Of course, get, get a finger grip, fingernail on it. There we go. You can flip it over, and this particular laptop, the screen is held in place by a single cable. It has a small piece of tape over it. In this case, we remove that tape. There's a small hasp that you fold back, wiggle out the connector, and away goes your bad laptop screen. Here's our laptopscreen.com replacement. Nice, nice uh, replacement part. Looks almost identical to the OEM. So we will start off by connecting that cable. Just very carefully put back in that slot. It's a oops, have to hold on to it just right. Hold that clip back when you insert it and push the clip. We'll push the clip forward. Hang on one second. I'm sorry it's taking so long. I'm not used to recording myself. Okay, <laughs> the, the clip keeps getting in the way there. There we go. And I usually use the tool to push it down, make sure it's engaged. We can retape it. We can flip it back over. Reposition the uh, screen. Okay, fits nice and snug. Then we'll 
replace our screws. I usually start the screws but no tighten them down to get them all in place just to ensure good alignment without any undue stress or pressure against the screen. Big fingers and little screws don't work that well together. Hang on, hang on. Here we go. <laughs> that was a little trouble with this one. There we go. And the last screw. four started now we can go ahead and confirm we're in a good snug position here no cables are being pinched we just tighten everything down okay now's a good time to remove our protective cover and then we take our bell position it back in place just snaps in Okay. Looks to be in position. Power back on. All right. Well now we're off. We weren't off completely. That's typical windows, a little slow to boot. Of course, we have to apply new settings. That uh, happens almost every time. You can see already that the screen is looking good. We'll let it boot all the way to the desktop before I end the video. And there you go. Very simple fix. Thank you, uh, laptopscreens.com, for a good product. Very good resolution on the screen. Very simple installation. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.